Before this video gets started, if you're interested in being a Lyft driver and you want to get a sign-on bonus, go ahead and use my link in the description. Hey everyone and welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. My name is Dylan and once again I do have my cup of coffee with me. I don't know about you guys, but one of my favorite things to do in the morning is just wake up extra early, grab a cup of coffee, and go outside. This is where I usually like to hang out. This is just my little back patio here. So today's video is the top 10 tips for Uber and Lyft drivers on New Year's Eve. So the new year is approaching and I thought this video would be super fitting to just talk about my best tips based on all my experience and just talking with other drivers who are big earners on New Year's Eve. Um, New Year's Eve is one of the biggest nights for earning. If not, I no, I'm gonna say it's the biggest night of earning um, in the entire year. It's just plain and simple. So here are the top 10 tips. Number one, set a goal. Um, you know, it doesn't matter if your goal is $300, $500, $1,000, set a goal and aim to achieve that by the end of the night or the end of the morning. For me, I like to set a goal of $300 every single day. That way, you know, I shoot for that $100,000 income. Um, but for you, maybe you only want to drive a couple hours and maybe it's just $100. Or maybe you want to go, you know, 10 hours and you're really shooting for, you know, 500 bucks at least. You know, whatever it is, just set a goal and that will really help you keep your mind on, you know, what you're really doing. And, I, you know, I like to set a goal every single day, but especially for New Year's, since the earnings is going to be so high, just set a goal, you know, write it down, write it on a piece of paper, on a post-it note, stick it on your dashboard and or, <clears throat> you know, or maybe write it down on your phone or whatever. And, you know, just take a look at it and, you know, where are you? <laughs> Are you, are you about to achieve it? Are you, you know, there's something, there's something tangible about writing down your goal physically on a piece of paper and, you know, trying to achieve that, you know, so, you know, that way, you know, when you're a couple hours in, you know how close you are to that goal. Um, and, and don't be afraid to make your goal super high, you know, pick a goal and then double it or pick a goal and, you know, add a hundred dollars to it. On New Year's Eve, you're gonna be making much more money than you will on any other day. And that's just because there's so many passengers. Uh, Uber has surge pricing, Lyft has prime time, and your earnings are literally gonna be two, three, sometimes five times as much as they would on any other night. So yeah, just set a goal for yourself. Okay, tip number two, make a schedule. I can't stress how important this is. For me, I like to set a schedule every day. I like to aim for that. And for New Year's, if you live in a city, set the schedule uh, to be at night that you want to drive for sure but if you don't live in the city maybe drive there during the day and then try to make your way towards the city at night just because that in the city that's where all the rides are going to be mostly um, at least the bigger rides with more demand and actually for scheduling purposes you can drive up until about 5 a.m and do keep in mind that during around 11 p.m to 12 30 um, there won't be as many rides just because people are already settled into where they want to be But yeah, you can start driving at like 7 p.m. all the way up until 4 or 5 a.m. Um, you can drive during the day as well um, Obviously, but those are gonna be the hours you're gonna earn the most amount of money So just set a schedule and stick to it. Okay tip number three This is literally gonna save your life make a playlist make a couple playlists You know have a dance playlist a party playlist a New Year's Eve playlist this is really gonna help with your rides. It's gonna help with your tips. It's gonna make your night go faster, smoother. Um, and people are just gonna generally like your rides better if you have nice music on. <clears throat> if you don't have time to make a playlist, you can download Spotify Premium and they generate playlists for you already. So you can just type in New Year's and I'm sure something will come up. And of course, make sure to ask your passengers if they have song requests. You know, they are heading into the new year and it is a big night for your passengers. So, you know, ask them, hey, you know, it's New Year's Eve. Can I play your favorite song? And I'm sure people will really like you for that. All right, number four, have fun. All right, this goes with the last one with having music in your car, but just, you know, in general, have fun. It's New Year's Eve. You know, everyone's in a good mood for the most part, unless you're going through a breakup, then it's not fun at all. But, you know, just have fun and stay in a positive, happy mood. And um, yeah, don't don't worry too much. You know, if anything goes wrong, um, you know, just, just try to stay happy. Or, you know, if you make a wrong turn or whatever, just say, oh, sorry, you know, I'll, you know, I'll, make it up to you somehow, I'll play your favorite song or whatever. Um, but yeah, just have fun. Sorry, coffee break. 
Gosh, I love coffee so much. Do you guys drink coffee? Or are you guys tea people? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> okay, tip number five. This is something that you probably haven't heard before, but keep your car cold. On New Year's Eve, you're gonna be taking a lot of intoxicated passengers. And as you might know, when you do have a couple of drinks, uh, your body temperature does rise, or at least it feels like it's rising to the person who's drinking. I don't know all the science about that, but keep your car cold. If you have your car warm, people who are drinking, they're just gonna be sweating and you know, it's gonna be uncomfortable and it's gonna kind of start to smell, <laughs> you know, but you know, if you have your car uh, cold and you know, you roll your windows down in between rides, I never recommend rolling your windows down during a ride unless your passenger wants it, um, but roll your windows down in between rides just to flush out any, you know, smells or alcoholic smells or anything. Um, but just keep your car cold, you know, keep the AC on. And this is also a bonus tip for this one. There's a study on this and when you're cold, you're less likely to throw up. So, you know, if your passenger is intoxicated, you know, they're getting car sick, they feel like throwing up. If you keep the car cold, it's way less likely that they will throw up. And um, just going along with this one, you know, just be prepared for intoxicated passengers. That means just having barf bags or having um, plastic bags in your car just in case. You know, just driving smoothly, you know, slow to acceleration, slow to stop. But yeah, just be prepared for intoxicated passengers. Okay, number six. This is my favorite one, drink coffee or Red Bull, or some other sort of stimulant to keep you awake. Since you will be driving late at night on New Year's Eve, if you want, you don't have to, but if you do, you wanna make the most amount of money, have something that can keep you awake. Maybe that's having gummy bears, I don't know. Something that's gonna stimulate you and keep you awake. Or if you just like to drink water and that keeps you up, then sure, just drink water. But for me, it's coffee and a Red Bull. When I need to stay up late, when I'm studying for finals till 5 a.m., um, I drink Red Bull, maybe two, so, um, and when I drive, I like to drink Red Bull or a coffee. Probably not both, that's probably really unhealthy. But yeah, maybe just, I don't know, something to keep you up at night. It helps you feel good too, you know, coffee helps just your brain feel better. I think it boosts your serotonin levels or something, or dopamine. Gosh, I don't know, I should really look into this whole science stuff before I start talking about this. Okay, tip number seven, don't go through the drive-thru. I know what you're thinking. Half your passengers are gonna be like, oh, can we go to La Burrita or whatever, some Mexican Taco Bell, um, whatever, some restaurant. And what this does is it actually slows down your whole, um, your whole night, you know. A lot of times when you're going through the drive-thru, you will get ride requests from, you know, the next rider, it'll add to your queue, and what happens is that you won't be able to accept it. So it just slows down your night, um, you know, and even if the passenger offers to tip you like five bucks, that's really nothing compared to how much you'll be making on another ride. So just don't go through the drive-through at all on New Year's Eve, unless it's like, unless the guy literally hands you like a $20 bill and there's no one in the line, um, then go. But if there's a couple cars in the line, don't go through the drive-through. It's gonna totally slow down your night. Um, you know, and, and you know, you can make, you can do another ride where you get tips as well on a different ride. So just don't go through the drive-thru. Okay, tip number eight is drive cautiously. Okay, unfortunately on New Year's Eve, there's gonna be people who are drinking and driving. And fortunately as rideshare drivers, you know, we're helping to eliminate drunk driving. Um, but unfortunately, you know, there are people who are gonna be drinking and driving. So drive super cautiously. You know, um, just be on the lookout. Uh, you know, if you're at a stoplight and you're the first person there, when it turns green, look both ways and make sure nobody's like speeding through to try to beat the yellow light. And you know, just this just this just means drive safely. Um, you know, just always be super alert. You know, don't be looking to your side, talking to your passenger. You know, just just focus on the road. And um, you know, you don't want to get into any accidents or anything. Um, so yeah, I just say drive super cautiously. And you know, this is just a good thing to practice in general when you're driving so much. You know, you don't want to get into any accidents or anything, but on New Year's Eve especially, drive cautiously. Okay, tip number nine, and this one is really gonna help with your earnings potential on New Year's Eve, is use destination mode. So as a Lyft driver, you get six destination modes. And on Uber, I believe you get two. Um, at the time of this video, that's how it is. Uh, it might change, but if you don't know destination mode, it basically means that you can set your destination where you want to go next uh, based on location. So if you get a ride that takes you out of the city, put your destination mode right back into the city and you'll get paired with somebody who takes you back into the city. 
and that's just because you don't want to get stuck you know going way far out you know in the middle of nowhere with no rides so just put your if you get taken out just put your destination mode right back and just wait for somebody who's gonna go into the city you know um, don't wait too long but give it you know give it like 10 minutes or so and see if you get a ride back in and this will just help you stay in the city which is where you want to be the entire night okay tip number 10 is after every single ride check your back seat and this is because on New Year's Eve people are probably gonna leave some things in your car so just check your back seat and make sure you know there's nothing left in the back seat now if somebody leaves a phone in the back seat this is super important listen up turn the phone off turn the phone off if somebody leaves uh, a phone in your back seat or in your car if they're in the passenger seat <laughs> um, and this is because people can track uh, the, your location with the phone and you don't want to return any items on New Year's Eve um, you know if it's a complete emergency then you know take it out you know then decide on your own but um, you know you don't want to be spending time delivering stuff that people left in your car on New Year's Eve it's just gonna totally ruin your income for that hour um, and just return it the next day um, and then you can get that fifteen dollar um, return fee the next day um, and also turn the phone off because you don't want people tracking you down and there has been some cases where passengers will use the location you know I have an iPhone and I can track my phone if it's turned on but if it's turned off I can't track it so you don't want people you know showing up at your house or you know following you while you're driving to to, to come get their phone um, you know it does happen from time to time so just turn it all off uh, turn the phones off and then uh, return everything the next day all right and a quick bonus tip is use a dash cam and this is gonna help you um, record your night you know if there's any issues at all and it could be super fun if you have footage from the entire night and if you don't have a dash cam no worries just be prepared to use your phone if anything happens and you want to record something um, you know it shouldn't be too, too many issues um, but yeah oh another bonus tip <laughs> sorry many bonus tips here if somebody does throw up in your car um, you know from drinking or anything take photos take photos of it uh, before you clean it up you know even if it's something super small or if somebody just spills uh, a drink in your car take photos of it and um, you know that way you have proof that you know you free so you can get that hundred dollar fifty hundred dollar fifty hundred and fifty dollar uh, cleaning fee anyways guys those are my top 10 tips plus the two bonus tips on uh, for driving on New Year's Eve I hope you guys have an amazing new year hope you guys make a bunch of money let me know in the comments below are you gonna be driving this New Year's yes or no why or why not and um, maybe let me know where you're from as well I think that's also really cool to know <laughs> um, but yeah I'm, I'm I'll be here in Orange County or in the Bay I'm not really sure where I'll be yet for the new year but I'll keep, I'll keep you guys posted all right, guys, it's been another episode of the Rideshare Hub. Again, if you're interested in being a Lyft driver and you want to get that sign-on bonus, go ahead and use my link in the description. It'll be the first one right there. And have a great day. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on social media if you use that too. All right, see you guys next time. Bye.